Hi everyone, if you're new here to the channel, my name is Ovi, I'm a first year medical student, and welcome to Ovi Med. Alright, so I've just finished my final exams of my first year of medical school. I'm done. I have been studying like crazy for the past two weeks. I think I studied more than like 70 hours a week for the past two weeks. And yeah, I didn't really have time to record much, but I will be making a video in the near future about how I studied so much in such a little time. So stay tuned for that. So a quick recap on the end of my semester. So I finished my in-person teaching on the 23rd of April, and then I flew back here to Canada, Montreal on the 24th of April. So you would have seen by my moving out vlog, which I'm gonna link right here, you know, the whole process of moving out. Then I had to do so many PCR tests and then I had to isolate in a hotel until I got another negative PCR test. And then I finished like the remaining 14 days of my quarantine at home. And yeah, anyways, I had to study quite a lot despite, you know, this movement and stuff. So I chose, I made the decision to go back. I could have stayed there for my exams, but I decided, you know, to be right here at my desk in a controlled environment with no sound from like traffic or whatever, like you would have seen from my room, which was right in front of like a very busy intersection. So I guess that that was really good because for our exams, we couldn't have any headphones or noise canceling anything because we could be like on a phone call with someone and they would tell us the answers or whatever. Anyways, it was not allowed. I found that a bit weird. But now that I'm here at my desk, well, I don't need these types of noise canceling technologies or whatever because, well, there's no noise. So yeah, that's why I decided to go back basically and, you know, just have less things to worry about. So I didn't have to focus on cooking, for example, which was really cool because it's really time consuming and I could just focus on setting, setting, setting. And I think that's one of the main reasons why I was able to study so much in such a little time. So that was really helpful to like go back home to be able to just study. So. So after I came back, all my lectures were over. I didn't have any online lectures. I didn't have, well, obviously didn't have any in-person lectures, but uh, yeah, I didn't have anything. I think we had like one tutorial or two uh, that we had to watch like for a lab. Uh, and then the only thing left that I had to do was like assignments, papers, and study for my final exams. So what did I have to do? What papers or what assignments did I need to hand in and what my final exams were like at Trinity College Dublin as part of my first year of medical school? So let's start off with biochemistry. So my final exam was worth 60%, whereas the Christmas exam was worth 40%. So final exam was quite important. So as for the Christmas exam, I had essay questions and MCQs, but now one of the mandatory essay questions was a lab question because, well, we had labs, we had one in-person lab and the other labs were online um, due to the, you know, current sanitary situation. So if you want to know a few quick tips about how I prepared for these essays, you can check my video right here, which I did in collaboration with the Academic Practice Office at Training College Dublin. It's very short, I'll give you a few quick tips, such as looking at the past papers. So check that out if you're interested. And then for MCQs, well, I didn't really study for them per se, because by writing down and memorizing my essay questions on the various topics, which were from the lectures, I kind of had a global understanding of the material. So didn't study per se because, well, I did the essays and so then I could like extract some information from these essays and apply them to the MCQs. Now, obviously I wasn't able to answer all of the MCQ because some of them were, you know, just small obscure details, which I did not include in my essays. So I didn't really remember, but whatever, they were only worth 10%. So, and we had 20 of them. So it's like 0.5% each, so whatever. And then for the essay questions, well, we had one mandatory lab question that we had to do no matter, no matter what. And then we had six other options of questions from which we had to choose three. So that was it for biochemistry. So now if we move on to human development, behavioral science and ethics course, on well, that course, I didn't have any final exam or Christmas exam. The only thing that I had was to hand in like a little reflective diary for the tutorials, uh, participation during the tutorials, like research for the tutorials, whatever, small things like that throughout the year, but no actual exam. And then for the finals term, well, I had to hand in one big paper that was worth 30% on behavioral science, which you probably heard me talk about a few times during my past videos, like, oh, I really need to work on a behavioral science essay and, or, and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, so that's what we had to hand in and it was worth 40%. It was 4,500 words, uh, but you know, I had to do quite a bit of research to answer these questions and yeah, that was it. 
And then moving on to human form and function, which is anatomy and physiology, um, the structure was pretty much exactly the same as my Christmas exams. So for anatomy and physiology, we had MCQs. And then for physiology, we had SAQs, short answer questions, where we'd have to explain like a topic or something. And then for anatomy, we had a lab exam in which you had to like identify structures and stuff like that. So if you want more information on these exams, uh, I made a video, which you can check right here about my Christmas exams, telling how I studied, what my reaction was like, and stuff like that. So this time around for my exam, I was way, way less stressed. Um, for the Christmas exams, you know, I was in a new country, new university. I had no idea what to expect. You know, I was in medical school. You know, I heard all these things about how hard the exams are and everything. And you know, I was really stressed. I didn't, I wasn't really sure how to prepare. So I did a lot of research. It took me a lot of time to figure out what could work and like what other people did. I, I spoke with older year students and asked them for advice and stuff like that. So um, I think that that was really helpful, you know, to kind of like gauge how much I need to study or what to study. That was, I think, one of the main problems, like what to study, like how much you need to know about what. I think that was like really hard to estimate because it was like my first exams. So I really had no idea what to expect. But now this time around, I knew exactly how to study. I knew exactly how to go into these exams. I know where to look for questions. I know how to study for these questions. I know how to prepare for whatever, like the anatomy lab exam or for, for the physiology. I learned my mistakes from last time because last time's only prepared from the past exams for physiology, which did not work because out of like the, the 15 or whatever questions that I answered, only like two came up on the exam. So that really wasn't good. Um, but this time around, like, you know, I compared the past paper questions with the learning objectives from the lecture and from the course outlines. And I sort of like created my own questions um, for these uh, compared, you know, with the past papers, of course. And that was like way better because most of the questions that I had in the exam, I had prepared them. So yeah, that was way better this time around. And I don't think I ever got back to you about how it went uh, for my Christmas exams. So I got first class honors for all of my exams. So um, that was cool. That meant that my study techniques that I talked to you about worked. So that's pretty cool. Now I studied exactly the same way for my final exams. Um, obviously like I did a bit of adjustments, um, like for physiology, like I just mentioned, and hopefully I'm going to be getting as good of a result, um, from my finals. So I'm pressing my fingers for that. Now then my semester is not quite over yet. I still have one presentation that I have to do for my humanities class. Me and my team chose the topic of vaccine controversy because it's an extremely important topic right now that absolutely needs to be addressed. And speaking of vaccines, I got my first dose yesterday. So I'm really happy about that. I've been waiting for the vaccine for quite a while and I couldn't get it in Ireland because it wasn't in the right age group. Uh, whereas here I could get it due to the fact that I was a medical student and I was going to be doing some uh, research and stuff this summer. So more on that later. But now for the summer, I have a few things lined up in terms of videos. So uh, one of the most important ones I think for you guys is going to be the Q&A, which I'm going to be doing. So if you have any questions, please send them in uh, either through Instagram at ov.med or here in the comments down below. Uh, I've already got quite a handful of questions regarding accommodations. So I will be speaking about those like apartments, um, where to live and stuff like that in Dublin. So I'm going to be answering those. I'm going to be addressing all the issues or concerns regarding that. Uh, also in terms of like public transport or how do I get to school, um, groceries, like cost of living and stuff like that. And then some general questions about studying, which I'm going to be addressing as well. But if you have any questions or any suggestions, uh, please send them in and hopefully I'm going to be able to answer them and include them in the video. And then I have planned a little desk upgrade and a little YouTube setup upgrade, uh, which I can give you a little teaser right here, but more on that when the time comes. And I also plan on making a handful of videos about interviews and how to answer specific, hard, tricky questions on interviews. Uh, for my North American friends, I'm going to be making videos on the MCAT about my experience, how I studied, uh, tips and tricks to improve your score and stuff like that. And I'm also going to be making a long video about essay questions, like how to really ace your essay questions or your essay exams in medical school specifically and what I did. And I'm also going to be making videos about how I studied for my final exams. Again, one more detail than I did in the previous videos because, well, I wasn't really sure if what I was doing worked or was right. So I didn't want to tell you guys, oh, what I do and maybe like it 
doesn't work. So I wanted to like try it out first, but now I know that they work. So I'm going to be making videos on these in the near future because people still have final exams going on until like the end of June. So I think that's going to be really helpful. And I'm also going to be making a sum up of my first year of medical school, telling you what my first year of medicine was like at Trinity College Dublin. I'm going to talk to you about all my courses that I had, um, assignments a little bit, and just my experience in general of what it was like to be an international student studying medicine in a different country. And if you have any suggestions, well, send them in and I'll see what I can do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions for me, please leave them down in the comments or send me a DM on Instagram at ov.man. If you didn't see my previous videos, I'm going to link them right here. So please go ahead and check them out and see you next week's video.